Um, I'm a data nerd. I love data analytics. Uh, that's the one thing in marketing that I'm, I still really, really nerd out about and really like, uh, yeah, other than colors. Um, <laughs> colors and data. Colors and data, you know, who knew? And then right. when I get to make charts, it's even more fun. Uh, but um, I'm glad there are people like you out there. I, you know, someone's got to do the the dirty work, right? Data and <laughs> colors and. Welcome to the Land Life Podcast with your host PJ Riley. Hey guys, welcome to the Land Life Podcast. Guys, like I always say, if you like the podcast, if you are getting something out of this, please leave me a comment. Maybe you like it. If you're listening on iTunes, Spotify, anything like that, uh, feel free to leave maybe a comment down below or, or just follow us there. Guys, today, we got a great guest today, Ashley Corrado. She's the founder of Noted, which is a, how would you describe Noted? So... I am the, I'm a co-founder of Noted. Okay. I get, so that's, that is a big piece to note. Um, uh, I, I, uh, my business partner um, is also, you know, a huge piece of that puzzle. Um, but I think it speaks volumes because we're two females mm -hmm. and we're both uh, working towards getting into two male dominated spaces because Noted is essentially a vertical search engine for the cannabis industry. Okay. Vertical, vertical search engine for the cannabis industry, kind of like WebMD. Yeah. For cannabis, uh, is that right? For cannabis, yeah. So we are focusing on uh, data and research. So okay. unlike a lot of the platforms that you see out there for cannabis right now that push you to products, uh, we're actually pushing folks to research hmm. and uh, data. So yeah, uh, you know, we, we like to say that Noted is part of the research revolution because uh, unfortunately, uh, cannabis is still a federally uh, illegal substance. And though you and I both live in, in states where it's okay, um, it's not okay on the federal level. And, and one of the, the hallmarks of Noted is uh, education, right? no one's going to push the needle forward without education. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we're, we're building a platform to really enhance the industry's knowledge, enhance, you know, the med medical industry's knowledge, the, yeah. you know, the cultivator's knowledge, Joe off the streets knowledge. You know? <laughs> it's, it's not about pushing um, a product or getting involved with the products. It's about understanding um, the plant reverence for the medical and, uh, you know, overall benefits for it. So, yeah. Okay. So I think that we'll get into that next second, yeah. because that kind of follows yeah. what you've done, what, what you've yeah. done throughout your whole life. So you're yeah. also the founder of Fortuna, Fortuna design. Is that correct? Yes, that and correct. that's like a digital marketing company. Yep. That's kind of what kind of moved you into noted, right? Correct. Yeah. So let, let's go back even further. Uh, let's, 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 let's talk about Ashley. Okay. How'd you get started? What got us to this yeah. point? Like, what's your entrepreneurial career history like? I am a bit of a serial entrepreneur. Um, uh, apparently, according to my parents, I've been selling crap my whole life. Um, they used to own a restaurant and they would give away, uh, it wasn't really a restaurant, it was like a sandwich spot, you know, Italian sandwiches and stuff. Yeah. Um, and they would give away this candy. And apparently I used to set up uh, a little stool in front of their store and sell the free candy. And people would actually give me money because I was cute. So uh, ever since I was a little, I, I remember, I mean, That's I don't cute. actually remember that, but I remember being on the playground, selling pogs, getting in yeah. trouble for that. High school, getting in trouble for selling study guides. You know, if there was like a business opportunity to be to be had, I've kind of tried it. I would have um, bought the study guides. Yeah. Oh, I would have sold you on that. <laughs> I would have tailored to whatever test you needed. And the thing is, you know, it helped me study better. It helped me be a better student and yeah. really flex my uh, my sort of 
just business uh, muscles um, from a young age. It's funny. I never thought I would go into business as a career. Um, I always wanted to be an attorney. And I thought that that was what was sort of my path. I thought, I thought that's how that I was going to sort of enact change. Um, and I started working at a nonprofit when I was in uh, college. I was at BU and it was really fascinated because this nonprofit was just nothing but a phone line. Hmm. So we had to build it from the ground up. So at that moment, I really fell in love with the business process. So I, I've got to give uh, credit to, you know, the nonprofits um, just out there uh, that are doing that every single day, you know, making something out of nothing. Um, and from there, you know, we had no marketing budget. We had no website budget. We got actually scammed. Um, the This person we found to hire to make our website didn't make our website. So <laughs> on the spot, you know, this green 20 year old, um, I'm in school and, you know, working at this company and I just fell in love with marketing. Yeah. Uh, and then from there, um, after school, it's kind of been entrepreneurial efforts here and there and digital marketing just really stuck. And the thing that has propelled it to be a successful venture is that I started a team and that was it. You know, the minute I, I really took just me out of the picture, um, it became a more sustainable entity and it became something that um, is scaling and has the ability to scale further. And it's great because I get... Uh, I'm not in the weeds as much. So I get to connect with really great people and, you know, really great clients and do a lot of uh, networking. And in doing so, I um, met my business partner for Noted. So, you know, it's really a circuitous, windy journey to what sort of got me to uh, pursuing, you know, a tech startup in an industry that I've always been passionate about, but have never found my footing yeah. in. Um, and it, it's just, it's crazy how, you know, it, things like that happen. Yeah. So you, you found, you used one, uh, one thing you were passionate about, one thing you were doing really well, and you just kind of, I guess you kind of fell into the really? other, thing, right? The, the, really? the it, it was, it was honestly, um, my business partner vetted me because she needed a website yeah. and heard about my work in the cannabis community, building sites and helping um, various, you know, players in, in that industry. And so she vetted me and I had no idea um, what was, you know, I was just like, great, you know, this, yeah. what a, an amazing client. Uh, I get to learn even more about you know, uh, the industry and, and, you know, how people are moving in it. And uh, after working together, she then presented uh, the idea of Noted. And then, boom, I, I was in. Um, and, and it's really, it's, it's neat to be stepping into that, to be open about, you know, cannabis, to be um, working towards it. Uh, and I never would be able to if I wasn't on this sort of weird ass entrepreneurial. Role. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um, so so I did check out the website uh, or sorry the website you you guys have developed and they're really good they're really clean, um, easy to navigate and they they're eye catching they're super okay. eye catching yeah uh, so I wanted to make sure everybody if you're looking to get a website developed. Yeah, you know, definitely check us out for tweetdesign.io. Um, it's it's really the cool thing is I don't just I don't really describe us as an agency. It's more like a creative collaborative. Um, when certain projects come up, um, I'm lucky enough to have a good team that can handle various things and also flourish in various ways. 
So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's just a neat, it's a neat space. And like, I get to play with colors. So, (laughs) (laughs) um, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, but you know, uh, so many business owners are afraid to dive into their marketing, you know, marketing is a four letter word to so many people. Website is a four letter word to so many people. Uh, it is not as inaccessible as you may think. It all starts with a conversation. There's a lot of things you can even do yourself. So um, a big part of what we do at Fortuna Design is also offer resources for those who do want to, you know, DIY it. Um, you know, some people aren't ready to commit. So, yeah. and I, I totally respect and get that. I also respect wanting to try it. Um, but, you know, call us. Call us when you're ready for the next. Call us when you make when you mess up and your website yeah. is terrible. So wait, yeah. what, what would be the the downside then of, of DIYing? Because I know a lot of people do. A lot of people want to DIY. It's it takes a long ass time. It is going to take you. It, it's going to the time it takes to DIY and muscle through something that's going to look mediocre, that you'll never be proud of, mm-hmm. that you'll constantly be working on is going to take you so much time and energy. And you could put that into sales efforts. You could put that into your business. You could put that into your day-to-day operations. You could put that into making money. Instead, you're going to exhaust that effort on just muscling through something. Yeah. No, no, no. Why would you, (laughs) why would you walk when you could fly? Oh, there you go. <clears throat> there you go. And, and having somebody like Ashley, like I, I see, it's, it's like almost, like almost having a coach, you know, it's like a cheat code for life. You know, it's a, uh, it's going to get you 10 steps ahead. Whereas where you would have, you know, not otherwise gone to. Yeah. Um, and um, the way we work with folks is, you know, we're going to get you to the next level mm-hmm. and then we want to set you up for success so that you call us when you're ready for the next level. You know, it's all about that growth mindset um, that you have to have. And believe it or not, you can apply it to marketing. Yeah. Yeah. So, so relationships are super important, right? It's, yeah. it's like incredibly important to, to build relationships so that you can get good employees, so you can get good, uh, you know, teammates to work with. How, as a new, let, let's say we're talking to a new, new person in the business world, in your business, how are you developing relationships in, in, in your industry right now? So... I do a lot of, of, of networking, um, a lot of talking with uh, fellow business owners who are both in and out of marketing, in and out of cannabis, in and out of, you know, various uh, industries. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think I opened myself up to having conversations with um, people who are also doing it because the entrepreneurial struggle is one that is inherently lonely. Um, and it's always nice to connect with people who get that. So, you know, not every conversation is a loaded selling conversation. Sometimes it's, sometimes I'm just looking for a golf buddy, you know, it's like, it's, you know, it's not, um, but I do a lot of networking, um, and it is really empowering, uh, to, to sort of see people, um, and, and just living in their element. Um, and, and, you know, uh, I think finding a mentor is really important as well. Yeah. Um, or at least, you know, identifying someone who's making the right moves um, and doing it with integrity and doing it the way that, you know, you hope to do it. Um, because, you know, there's no blueprint for for getting it right you still have to pivot constantly however there's definitely people who are good models out there and they you they may even be willing to teach you yeah i think a lot of people that are are highly successful really do want to teach because like you said it's lonely if there's not a lot of people to talk to so when you do find someone who's interested in something you're interested in yeah you're going to pass on that information and and i know a lot of guys and girls that are like it's free. I don't care. I, I just want to tell you, you know, I, I asked a, a guy the other day about a specific uh, industry and I said, Hey, I want to get into this industry. I'm, I'm looking at kind of uh, adding this to our current business. He is a coach. He makes tens of thousands of dollars per client doing this. He sent me literally everything for free. 100% of the information he sent to me for free. 
And I was like, wow. It, it was, it was like drinking through a fire hose, but it was, fr- it was amazing. You know, because he's like, you know, not a ton of people ask me about this and you seem like a person genuinely interested. So here's the stuff. Um, but it, but it is interesting because when you, when you have people that are, that, that want to be entrepreneurs, you're really willing to give them all of the help you can yeah. to get to where, you know, you know, they want to be. Yeah. Um, the cool thing about, uh, my, my agency is everyone sort of has their own freelance or agency or other gig going on too. Mm -hmm. Um, and I really try to, uh, support that by, um, just finding out what we can do that's new and different that you can add to your resume. Yeah. Um, okay. So these are all freelancers that are a part of your company as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How many people are on the, on the team total? Oh, um, including folks who are, who are kind of very specific, I would say 15, 15 people. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And all right. So is, is this, um, in, in a business sense, is this one of the things you're building? You're going to sell it, move on to the next thing. Is, is that how this is, is this no, is working? I don't think so. I, I don't, you know, I, I really, I don't think so. Um, this model is not anything new, um, but I think the people that I've brought together in the certain way that we do things um, has the potential uh, to be something special. And I don't want to just give that up. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you want to give me $10 million today for it, PJ, fine. It's on sale for $10 million yeah, right now. She a just day. Said. Ashley but, just said it's uh, on sale. If you got 10 million but, bucks. But other than that, no, <laughs> no. I mean, it, yeah. it's really, um, the agency I had before was called PR by AC. Mm-hmm. And it was really um, a lot of individual effort and it burnt me out. Um, yeah. You know, there's so much to be said about teamwork um, and uh, also not micromanaging. Uh, trusting in people's skill set. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's fun. Um, yeah. And like I said, I play with colors, you know, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. All right. Let's shift gears here a little bit. So you, you, you went from the digital marketing space, you met somebody who, who had similar interests and they interest you in, in, in kind of using your skills into something else. Um, I think that's how a lot of people get real success in business, you know, with land, which is what I do. I wasn't looking to buy and sell land. You know, I just stumbled upon it from something else I was doing. So, you know, I think, I think you can really find your passion and really find something you, you actually want to do. You really enjoy, and I'm not saying you don't enjoy digital marketing, but you know, this may be like the thing that you were always looking for the, the whole time. So with noted kind of just explain, uh, give us a little bit of a, a, a intro version of that, but kind of explain what it is and kind of how you got into that as well. Yeah. Uh, so as I mentioned, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm a lot of our clients happen to be in the cannabis industry. Um, my now business partner at the time was, was looking for a website uh, and liked our working style, liked what sort of I had produced individually and my project management skills uh, in the task and, you know, came to me with, with the noted concept and um, a node on a plant is the part of the plant that can become anything. So um, there's a lot of of power and um, uh, intention into why we have called ourselves noted um, and why we're starting with data and research uh, Mm -hmm. at this juncture. So um, it's, you know, it's, it's going um, it, you know, as of right now, we're just working on building uh, the, the correct infrastructure. Okay. Um, and we are, uh, still, um, in, uh, round one of seed funding. 
So okay. it's true startup um, in that sense, but we have bootstrapped um, the build thus far and um, we're pushing forward regardless of, you know, yeah. capital investment. Okay. Um, so you guys, you already know how to develop a website. So you can already do this. This isn't a, we're, we're, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is, this is happening. Um, yeah. It's just, you know, um, when, when you build something of, of this magnitude, you know, you get, you only get uh, three components in a build, right? Time, quality, cost, right? Those are your three components, but you can only pick two. <laughs> why, why can you only pick two? Because you, ha- you can't get all three. You can't get all three without, there's just, it's impossible. One has to be sacrificed. Okay. If you want more time, cost or quality goes down. Uh, if you want, or if you want more time, obviously, you know, cost, boop, 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 boop. you know, it's, it's yeah, yeah. funny how you play with it. So um, we have always said that um, the most important thing that we want uh, to ensure throughout the build is quality. So if that unfortunately takes time, that takes time. And, you know, the, the people who are involved in the project um, are amazing. Uh, and it, it's really, it's an interesting, um, it's an interesting industry yeah. to say the least. Yeah, this is a huge endeavor because you're going to try to get, uh, I'm, I'm, you're getting research from everywhere in the world and you're trying to compile it into one space. Is that, does that sound right? Is that yeah, right? Correct there? Right. Okay, yeah. so you're, you're taking everything and compiling it into one space. That could take forever. Are you going to start like, let's just get the ball rolling. Let's get instead of, you know, the million research articles out there, let's get the first 5,000 and, and give the, put those out there first. Is that an option? Yeah. Yeah. Place? I mean, there's definitely going to be a beta release. Um, that's, you know, before the, the big shebang, mm-hmm. um, and that'll that'll be a, a sort of lessened version of of the the full search engine, yeah. Um, but yeah, we're 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 pushing through. It's exciting, and we do actually hope to have that beta out this summer. Um, okay. So you know, uh, it'll be exciting um, to to see that. And more than anything, it, it's going to get be exciting to get users and see how they interact. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm a data nerd. I love data analytics. Uh, That's the one thing in marketing that I still really, really nerd out about and really like, uh, other than colors. Um, (laughs) Colors and data. Colors and data, you know, who knew? And then when I get to make charts, it's even more fun. Uh, But um, I'm glad there are people like you out there. You know, someone's going to do the the dirty work. Right. Data and (laughs) colors and you know i'm just not built to be a surgeon so <laughs> i use my skills elsewhere right so so how are you going to connect to this kind of stuff so um we have a database let's say we get our database put together um how are we getting this to maybe medical professionals or someone who's going to be able to um to give this information or to, to i guess use the information right uh, yeah. to a patient how are we going to do that so it's, it's um, in its most bare bones form, it's a higher level read than a WebMD. Mm-hmm. So, you know, the beta is not going to be um, essentially, you know, great for Joe off the street who's looking for, yeah. you know that condition and and nor are we going to position ourselves as that because i think that would do a disservice to the industry and to folks who are visiting um so we're really targeting academics and um other researchers Mm -hmm. that's that's our primary our uh, audience to not only um work with the platform but hopefully uh, add to it as well Yeah. Okay. So we're going to be contacting, sorry, you're going to be contacting uh, doctors, um, 
people on the ground, you're going to have to do it. You're probably yeah. going to have to do it one at a time. Does that sound about right? A lot of, approach a hospital. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. a lot of, uh, um, you know, launches are, are very, uh, you know, you, you don't just, you know, go willy nilly and send it to every <laughs> vertical in your, yeah. your marketing spectrum um right away sure. you know if you're you've got to test for certain components you've got to look in here i go into data um but you stagger uh, the release based on you know what you're testing for and who you're testing for okay. um so it's 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 it's, it's got a, it's all strategic uh and it's it's intentional um but when it's ready for public use um that's going to be you know a super super exciting uh, thing because uh, accessibility is one of our hallmarks. Okay. So, you know, it's not just about making the platform accessible to use, but it's about making the information accessible as well. Okay. So this is a long-term project. Yeah. Oh yeah. This, this, this isn't forever. This, isn't this is a, a forever project. Yeah. This is, this is a true passion piece um, that uh, I, yeah that I'm, I'm definitely excited and lucky to be a part of. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, oh, okay. So I understand like, you know how in Denver and I live in Colorado, it's yep. pretty, you know, pretty normal here. You yeah. know, it's, it's kind of, it'd probably be an easier place to, to approach a doctor or to approach anybody and ask them about the use of cannabis in, in different, in alternative ways. You know, I'm not just talking about smoking and getting high. I'm talking about multiple different ways of, you know, helping with different diseases, ailments, things like that. It's going to be easier. What are, what would you say to somebody who wasn't like that? Who was like, I don't like this stuff. This is a drug. It's illegal. Like, what are you going to tell the average? <laughs> What's that? And so, so the average naysayer or the, or, or perhaps a, practitioner who's against it or a legislator who's against it I would say look at the research look at where things look at you know the anecdotal research from history as well mm -hmm. uh, there's there's a reason this this particular plant medicine has been around for literally generations and generations and ages and ages and ages um, it's it's quite fascinating if you look into the history of of cannabis usage and um, if you can just think beyond you know the legalization factor and think beyond any connections you may have with this and another substance and really look at the components of this particular plant and how it helps. Um, you know, maybe you might be onto something, Harry with a bad back who, you know, <laughs> takes 45 Advil a day, you know, may, maybe there's yeah. something to this that the rest of the world is onto, but you're holding on to, uh, you know, the notion that it's bad. Yeah. Well, I think this, this is the best time in, at least in, that I know of in history to start working towards alternative medicine. There's so many other options out there right now. There's things that are happening that we're, we're starting to learn about CRISPR stem cells. Yeah. Uh, I mean, all these different options. I mean, now acupuncture saved there. my life. Acupuncture and cupping. Acupuncture. Literally. Yeah. I, I mean, oh my God. Um, you've got to be open to that stuff. And like you said, now's the time you only live once. So yeah. why not? Yeah, and yeah. what's the worst thing that's going to happen? What is the worst? So let's let's say you try some, you, you know, some alternative medicine. What's the worst thing that can happen? It doesn't work. Cool. Go back to the regular way if, if you want to do it. If it does work, yeah. hey, now you didn't take a drug. You didn't have to put something in your body that yeah. you know, didn't really work well with your body in the first place. Uh, and and you're better. You know, why not try something like that? And always, you know, if you're if you're an individual who has you know, known medical component or ailments or something, you know, consult your physician before you do anything crazy, mm -hmm. but also be super honest with them about the 45 Advil you're downing a day, <laughs> you know, be just as honest with them about that as your curiosity or your, you know, timidness to, I don't know, look into a different type of medicine or a different type yeah. of reading. Yeah. There's so many options out there. There's so many alternatives. Um, 
there's so many ways of being healthier nowadays yeah. that, you know, and, and I, I don't think it's a, it's not fringe anymore. It's not, um, it's not like, you know, I mean, I mean, I mean yeah, we on. all knew the, the guys in, in high school that smoked pot and that, that's what we're, what we're um, thinking of when we think of cannabis. And, and I want to say that yesteryear's pot is not the pot of today. Yeah. And the people who smoke pot are not, you know, that notion of them that you, know, you can be a functioning adult, a functioning business owner and still enjoy cannabis. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's it, so many other yeah. ways that it's helping too. So. Oh my God. Yeah. I mean, CBD in general, it, you don't, you know, you don't necessarily have to even go down the scary psycho uh, active components of it. Gosh forbid, like yeah. Jesus. No, you don't even have to. You can just, just dip your toe into what CBD can do for, you know, health and, and, and well being, And you can just rub that on. You can try a lip balm for, for God's sake, you know, yeah. there's, it's so it's expansive. Like I said, it's a billion dollar industry. So, you know, let's bring it back to business. Some, something's do, something is right. It's a billion dollar industry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I mean, it's, it's a business just, I, I mean, I'm talking to a lot of people who are, I live in Colorado, like I said, it's, there's a, 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 a dispensary on every corner. So uh, it, it seems to be working in, in one way or another. It's, it's, it's making money. So um, Ashley, Anything else you got you want to say, you want to let us know before we, we wrap up? Um, yeah, uh, definitely uh, check out uh, fortunadesign.io, noted.info. Uh, check us out on Instagram as well. Uh, if you go to our websites, you'll see our Instagrams easily clickable, but very nice and friendly. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, if you're ever curious about you know that four-letter marketing word um it starts with a conversation and uh don't be afraid to reach out whether it's me or another agency you know get your marketing right your business totally totally deserves it yeah absolutely and and check out ashley's uh the examples on her on their website on the fortuna website uh, because they're actually they're really good Um, those are really good websites everything looks really nice clean it's easy to navigate um, easy to understand. I mean, it looked great. So if you're looking to get a website or get something going there, uh, give them a call uh, or call, message them on online. We don't call people anymore, do we? I mean, you uh, could. We we <laughs> we we've got to, we probably have a Google number on there. <laughs> okay, you, you can call them that uh, on that. Um, also, guys, if you have any uh, questions about the the noted company that that she's starting, super interesting, and you know. Uh, it's, it's a, it's a long-term project, but it's, it sounds like it's a, it's an awesome endeavor and really excited about that too. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, feel free to reach out, uh, again, uh, fortunadesign.io and noted.info. Um, real quick with that, I wanted to ask, you said you were, are you looking for investors, active investors right now? We are actively looking for investors for note, for the noted platform. So, uh, if you are an investor, um, feel free, you know, to check us out, uh, reach out, um, any questions, you know, uh, okay. now, do they have to be, uh, accredited investors? We are looking for, uh, accredited investors. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, tech is not, um, cheap <laughs> for lack of a better term. Um, so, uh, we, you know, we're, we're looking, um, for, uh, uh, you know, a certain tier of investors. Um, but, but we also, um, you know, appreciate the support, um, from, you know, you know, wherever it, it may come from. So, you know, reach out if you're interested in any way, shape or form, uh, it's going to take a village okay. to move this industry and do it the right way. So really, uh, we appreciate, you know, any type of support. Okay. Absolutely. Guys, if you're an, an, an credit investor, contact Ashley and let's get it rolling. Um, so we can get this thing going out there, get it, get it out there sooner than later. Um, Ashley, big question, big question. Here it is. I, I sent this email and uh, I told you there's a big question we ask in every podcast. Uh, 
We are land life. We buy and sell land, dirt and trees. If you actually could buy land anywhere in the entire world, where would it be and why? Oh, man. Okay. So I didn't know it was the entire world. World. I, I, okay. Now, now I'm opening up to, I would say, Sardinia. Sardinia. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, my family's Italian. And if I had the, you know, the ability to uh, get some lovely dirt <laughs> by a lovely Sardinian beach, I would meld I would build the Corrado compound there in a minute. There you go. For sure. Yeah. There you go. We were, we were kids as a kid. I lived in Sicily. And oh, so we had, cool. uh, yeah, there, there was, I, I did look there. There is land available on the Island. So if you're oh. ever looking a little further South, maybe. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it is. I, option. Mean, I, mean, I, I don't know how you'd buy it, but. Yeah. I just, I mean, I picked Sardinia because it, you know, it's so close to, to Greece and, and it's so beachy um, and Sicily. Uh, that's actually where my family's from. So they would probably love that even more. So geez, thanks, PJ. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got goals. There, there's so many awesome places out there that uh, people probably don't even know about. So right on, Ashley. Uh, guys, thank you so much. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and donate to Noted. Uh, until next time, though, I'll see you on that life.